that people didn't really want to talk about. You know, on a national level, he's also winning the popular vote as well as the electoral yes. vote right now. How much did the idea of folks looking for an outsider and also maybe even his celebrity status play into right now just uh, this momentum buildup that we're seeing? Well, you know, the answer is yes, it did. But those kinds of categories, a celebrity wanting to bring about change, are often surrogates for other things that are deeper. And there was obviously, people here were clearly more willing to take a risk on a candidate, at least the risk that we, some of us saw, maybe they didn't see it as risky. But there clearly was something deeper going on there and having to do with uh, a feeling of being neglected. Some of it had to do with race and so on. But it's clear that this kind of change message caught on in a, to a broader group of people who we were less likely to associate with, with racial feelings, with anti-immigrant feelings, uh, and so on. You also have to remember that whatever we heard about change here, that the majority, the heavy majority of Republicans around the country were going to vote for Trump and probably voted for Trump in any bigger number. Now, I call those people us's in the sense that they're more like the three of us sitting up here as mm -hmm. opposed to these disaffected farmers and guys without jobs that you hear about. You always have to remember that his, his coalition was even broader to start with. All right, now All right. to the biggest race right here in Hawaii. That's, of course, the Honolulu mayor race mm -hmm. between incumbent Kirk Caldwell and challenger Charles DeJou. 63-year-old Honolulu Mayor Kirk Caldwell hoping to keep his seat for another four years. Yeah, our Paul Drew standing by live from the Caldwell camp at the old Sports Authority on Ward Avenue. Paul. 